Good morning, dear students. This is your periodic assessment test for English where the marks are 50 and the time duration is of 2 hours. Here, 50 marks are divided between 10 questions which carries 5 marks each. So let's start with first question. But before that, make sure that you have written your name and standard division along with the subject. Now, question 1. Read the following passage and answer the following questions. Vincent van Gogh was an artist who lived in the Netherlands from 1853 to 1890. He painted more than 900 paintings. During his life, he only sold one painting, but now his paintings are very valuable and famous. Van Gogh liked to use very thick paint and he loved color. Question 1. About whom this paragraph is? Students, make sure that you write the complete sentence as an answer, not just one or two words answer. Question 2. Which country the artist belongs to? Question 3. How many paintings did Vincent van Gogh paint? Question 4. What kind of colors the artist liked to use? Question 5. Give synonym of the word precious from the passage. Synonym means similar meaning word or same meaning word. So from the passage, which word is most similar to precious? Which word means the same as precious? From the passage, not by yourself, but from the passage. Question 2. Complete the dialogues with the words given in the brackets. Here there is a conversation between two friends and you have to complete this dialogue not by yourself, but from the given words only. The words given are, that's a good idea, but there is an issue, I am fine, I will, to my home. From this, you have to arrange accordingly. Now here, the number is not given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but you can write question 2. 1 and the answer which will come in the first blank. Ria. Hi, how are you? Tina. Blank. Thank you. So, this is the first blank. So, 1 and the answer which will be coming here. Ria. Are you going to join online class today? Tina. Yes. Blank. Are you going to join? Ria. I wish to join. Blank of internet at my home. Tina, then why don't you come blank, Ria, blank, I will come to your home. Question 3. Find out the rhyming words from the given poem. You guys already know rhyming words means which have the same sound. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So star and are are the rhyming words. So here you have to write the rhyming words for 1, 2, buckle my shoe, 3, 4, shut the door, 5, 6, pick up the sticks, 7, 8, set them straight, 9, 10, a big fat hen. Question 3, first one, 2, rhyming word from the poem, 4, 6, 8, 10. You have to write the rhyming words for this from the poem. Question 4. Find synonyms of the following from the words given in the bracket. Here you have to find the same meaning word for the given questions. The words or the options are simple, picture, pretty, finish, old. First question. Image. What is the same meaning? What is the synonym for image? You have to choose from the given words. And then write the answer. So question 4, 1 and answer. 2, end. 3, ordinary. 4, ancient. 5, beautiful. Question 5. Find adjective from the following sentences. You just have to write question 5, 1 and what is the adjective? Which word is adjective in this sentence? 
A fierce lion is sleeping. 2. Avi is a smart boy. 3. I am writing with a black pen. 4. Jaipur is known as Pink City. 5. Minnie has blue eyes. You just have to write the word which is adjective. Question 6. Observe the picture and write down 5 sentences about it. Here there is a picture given. You can clearly see what the picture is about. So you have to describe this picture and write down 5 sentences about it. It can be what you see, it can be what you think, it can be uh, what should be done. So in total just 5 sentences about this picture. Question 7. Hia is writing a new post for her blog. She is trying to think of five uses of a tin can help her to write. Tin can is like uh, when you purchase rasgulla or gulab jamun from Haldiram. You get them in a tin can. So that way she is writing about a new post for her blog. We have studied this. What is blog? So think of five uses and you have to write the five uses for the tin can. Question 7. 1. First use of tin can. Second use of tin can. Third, fourth and fifth use of tin can by yourself. Question 8. Find O family words from the table and write them. Now family words are means the words in which let me give you the example of A family words. C-A-T cat, B-A-T bat. That way, these are the A family words. So, just like this, you have to find O family words from the table and write them. Not just randomly, but which actually means something. It can be horizontal or it can be vertical. So, you have to find such family words and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which you found from this table. Question 9. Arrange the words in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, you have to arrange this in from ascending to descending. If the first letter is similar, you have to look at the second letter. So which should come first and which will come second. That way you will have to arrange these words. Question 10. Write a letter to your friend explaining him the importance of trees. You guys already know how to write an informal letter to your friend. So make sure that all the things which are necessary in a letter are already there. And then just few points about the importance of trees. With this, the, chap uh, the paper gets over. I hope you guys understood it well and it is very easy. You will enjoy writing this. Make sure that you use black and blue pen only and write in clear handwriting. That's it. All the best. Bye.